The Coalition Against Fake News is holding this press conference given the recent video released by the cable network CNN on the incident at Lekki Tollgate during the NSAS protest. It is imperative that issues must be put in proper perspective for the generality of members of the public and, other in, in, and under no circumstances should fake news be allowed to foster due to negative consequences. It must be stated that indeed there is a sinister motive by some vested interest to destabilize Nigeria and these individual and groups have been most ferocious in the enterprise, not minding the social economic implication of our actions. Sadly, the CNN has ironically joined the bandwagon of fake news promoters with its recently released video alleging that soldiers used live bullets and fired into the crowd of peaceful protesters at Lekki Tollgate. The Coalition Against Fake News sees these actions of CNN as a mere rehash of the existing narrative that has been faulted by different independent bodies in Nigeria with regards to what transpired at the Lekki Tollgate. What the CNN did was to toe the same line by aggregating videos that were already in circulation and introduce a slant that would give credence to the narrative that soldiers used live bullets and indeed deaths were recorded. We are consequently constrained to believe that the introduction of the CNN into these issues at hand is as a result of the testimony of the Nigerian Army at the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry and restitution, which indeed out of issues is proper perspectives. The Coalition Against Fake News, as an independent group that has devoted substantial time and resources to research on a wide array of issues of public concerns in Nigeria, is appalled that the CNN will undertake to spread fake news with impunity with regards to the NSAS protests in Nigeria. The CNN not only attempted to turn the truth on its head, but it also delved into an area it has minimal understanding of the undercurrent and the subsequent escalation of violence that led to the destruction of properties as well as loss of human lives. It is also curious that the CNN report for inexplicable reasons elected to ignore that fa the fact that once peaceful protest was hijacked by some sponsored talks and hoodlums that wrecked havoc through the burning of police stations in parts of Lagos and as well as the barbaric way of police officers who murdered in cold blood were murdered in cold blood under the guise of NSAS protest. This is indeed an indication that there is a lot that meets the eyes with the NSAS protests, given the fact that as the dust is gradually settling, the CNN has so decided to recycle the issues that are being addressed at the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry and Restitution. It is our view that the recent video released by the CNN is meant to serve the purpose of misleading the general public. It might not be far-fetched if those vested interests that are bent on destabilizing Nigeria are the brains behind it. The CNN elected to be so used as a tool for the weaponization of fake news against the Nigerian state and our citizenry is indeed despicable and should be condemned by all discerning individual and concerning groups. We wish to consequently inform all Nigerians, as well as the international communities, that the recently released video by the CNN is indeed the handwork of distractors that are envious of the considerable gains recorded in Nigeria in all aspects of our socioeconomic life. Nigeria must, as a result of this, come to terms with the realization that Nigeria is up against international conspiracy to derail and thwart our nascent democracy by sowing the seed of discord in the polity to cause crisis of unimaginable proportion. It is, also our it is also our considered opinion that the use of CNN to further their agenda against Nigeria is ultimately targeted at the Nigeria army as an institution that has been protective of democracy in Nigeria. It therefore comes as no surprise that the Nigerian army is under constant and scatting attacks by individuals and groups with the ultimate aim of deeming the effort of the Nigerian army so far in preserving the territory integrity of Nigeria as well as the entrenchment of our nascent democracy. The Coalition Against Fake News is 
using this medium to call on all well-meaning Nigerians to view the video by the CNN with a pinch of salt, as multiple indicators suggest that it is sponsored against the interests of Nigeria. That the CNN has joined the fray of fake news merchants should give us a reason to be alarmed as the forces against Nigeria are more than we can imagine. The Coalition Against Fake News wishes to state in equivocal terms that the involvement of CNN has indeed raised a red flag that indeed our democracy is under a threat of unimaginable proportion and hence the need for Nigeria to be wary of fake news merchants. We must at this point come to terms with the reality on ground and join hands with the government in addressing the threat posed by fake news merchants, else we might all have ourselves to blame. The CNN has by this action indicated that it has a bitter agenda in Nigeria and at this juncture I say a word is enough for a wise.